Trick or treat, bub. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Halloween. Hope you're having a great day. I thought with it being Halloween, I would talk about a Marvel movie special presentation that I really, really enjoyed. You wanna see this, darling? Why I liked it, and I wanna know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. We're talking about Werewolf by Night. I really enjoyed it. I didn't know what to make of it. I didn't know too, too much about Werewolf on Night. Just a little things here and there from the comics, but not too in-depth on the character. When I was a kid, I really, really loved the Universal Monster stuff, though, and I loved especially Abbott and Costello in the Universal Monsters. Oh. I had this weird obsession with Frankenstein and Return of the Invisible Man. Not Invisible Man, Return of the Invisible Man. I taped that off of TV when I was a kid, and I burnt a hole through that VHS tape. That's right, VHS. None of my friends would watch it with me, though, because it was black and white, but I absolutely loved that movie. I loved Bride of Frankenstein as well. So when I heard they were doing this movie, I wasn't 100% sure what to make of it if I was going to like it, but then I heard it was a special presentation, 40, 45 minutes long, whatever it is, and I said, okay, let's see what they got, and then Michael Giacchino came on to direct it, which I thought was very curious, obviously a very talented composer. This is a movie that I've said before, but it's a movie truly that I've been wanting to make since I was 10 years old. But how is this going to translate, and how connected to the MCU was it going to be? And I was very relieved when I watched it. Again, I didn't know what to expect from it, and I felt like it really drew from those universal classic horror monster movies that I really enjoyed growing up. And it took me right back to that. And the connections to the MCU were minimal at most, if any. And then of course, you know, we got into color with Somewhere Over the Rainbow at the very end. And I thought it was a very, very good movie. And one thing that I really liked about it was it was a special presentation. It's a Halloween special, clearly. And so it could be a Halloween special like we had when I was a kid that you can watch every year, which we don't get much of anymore as is. You just don't get Halloween specials like we did back in the 80s and 90s. There's no escaping them. They know we're here. Hallmark's got your Christmas covered nowadays, but you don't get too many of those. And I thought it was great what they did with Guardians, but Werewolf by Night, I just thought it was a great ride. It was really fun. And like I said, it was a nice throwback. So I just want to talk a little bit about Werewolf by Night. Werewolf by Night follows the mysterious supernatural story of Jack Russell, a monster hunter with a dark secret set in a shadowy world filled with creatures. The special begins with the death of Ulysses Bloodstone, a legendary monster hunter whose powerful artifact, the Bloodstone, is the most coveted object among hunters. Ulysses' death sets off a gruesome competition among a group of elite monster hunters, each seeking to claim the Bloodstone and its immense powers. The hunters among them, Jack Russell and Elsa Bloodstone, the estranged daughter of Ulysses, Gather at the Bloodstone Manor, a gothic estate steeped in eerie history and dark secrets. Ulysses' widow, Verusa Bloodstone, reveals the purpose of their meeting. They must hunt a monster within the grounds of the estate. Whoever defeats it wins the Bloodstone, inheriting the power and status it bestows upon its wielder. Jack, however, is not what he seems. He harbors a dangerous curse. He's a werewolf! Concealing his true identity from the others, unlike many of the hunters, Jack's mission is to protect monsters rather than kill them. His goal is to free the creature revealed to be the monstrous Man-Thing, captured for the ritual hunt. Jack and Man-Thing share a unique bond, and Jack's journey unfolds as he navigates between the human instincts and his primal werewolf side, all while trying to save his monstrous friend. Elsa, initially estranged from her family and opposed to the monster hunting legacy, teams up with Jack when she realizes his true nature. Together, they face off against the other hunters in a thrilling game of survival where every turn in a maze-like estate reveals more horrors as they fend off hunters. The only weapons permitted tonight have been placed throughout the garden. Jack's werewolf curse finally emerges, transforming him into a savage beast under the influence of the Bloodstone. The climactic scenes show Jack in his full werewolf form, unleashing a terrifying force upon the hunters. And ultimately, he and Elsa manage to escape with Man-Thing, forging an unlikely alliance between a werewolf, a reluctant monster hunter, and a swamp creature. Their journey hints at a larger world of supernatural characters within the Marvel Universe, opening up the MCU to darker, 
horror-inspired storylines. Werewolf by Night, Marvel takes viewers into a new realm where fear, alliances, and monstrous secrets come alive, bridging horror and humanity in an unforgettable tale that leaves us asking where Jack, Elsa, and Manthing will end up next. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a fun ride. For as short as it was, it felt almost feature length, but not like in a negative way, like, oh, it drags on. Like, it keeps going. The pace is very good. And it is a throwback. If you enjoy it, it is very much a throwback. And I do think that of all the Marvel stuff that has come out, of all the Marvel films, TV specials, and whatnot, that this, there are a couple also, but this is one of Marvel's masterpieces. Directed by Michael Giacchino, this Halloween special plunges into horror, paying an authentic homage to the classic Universal monster films of the 1930s and 40s, like Frankenstein and the Wolfman. Its stark black and white visuals and old school practical effects summon the eerie magic of vintage cinema yet bring a fresh and immersive horror experience that's like nothing else in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. By stepping away from superhero tropes, Werewolf by Night has carved out a space for Marvel to be bold, terrifying, and beautifully nostalgic. Giacchino's direction here is nothing short of a revelation. Known primarily for his musical scores, he surprises fans with his mastery of suspense and classic horror atmospherics. His decision to go black and white isn't just stylistic, it's a nod to the genre's roots and a stroke of genius that allows for more raw, atmospheric storytelling. This special feels like a lost classic, found and remade for modern audiences with Marvel's signature polish, but without the constraints of the typical Marvel storytelling. What's truly unique about Werewolf by Night is that it's a self-contained story, free from the usual pressure to set up future MCU projects. Characters like Jack Russell and Elsa Bloodstone are able to captivate without the shadow of a larger universe hanging over them. This focus allows for richer character development and a more intimate look at their monster hunting journeys. Steeped in gothic horror and pulpy suspense, perhaps the showstopper here is Man-Thing, who appears both as a creature of horror and unexpectedly as a beloved character in its own right. Brings a touch of dark humor and emotion that feels uniquely Marvel, yet hauntingly out of place in the best way possible. Man-Thing adds depth and surprise to a story that's as unsettling as it is heartfelt, proving that horror and humanity can thrive together in the MCU. In the end, Werewolf by Night is more than a Halloween special. It's a visionary homage to a classic horror movie, a reminder of the MCU's capacity for innovation and a love letter to the monster films that defined an era. It's no wonder this special is hailed as Marvel's most creative project in years. Disney did release this in color a year or two later. I didn't watch it. I said, what was the point? I love the black and white white look of it. I thought it felt classic. It felt unique. It felt original. It felt like a Halloween must watch every year an annual viewing to say the least and i really enjoy it and after i've done this i'm gonna go watch it because that, it's that time of year and i feel like it and i can't wait to see where these characters go i don't need them teaming up but there is a rumor that midnight suns is coming i would love to see them play a part in there i'm a big big blade fan as well can't wait to see if blade ever gets on his feet we'll be doing some videos on blade in the coming days weeks months years future decades who knows uh, coming up, but I can't wait. Let me know what you guys think again in the comments down below. Did you like Werewolf by Night or was it not your cup of tea? Because it's definitely not for everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Halloween. May you be the master of your own universe.